Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be coding something on code.org. As you can see, this is my dashboard. And these are all the projects. There's even a full list. So you can you can code Sprite Lab, Artist, Minecraft Designer, Dance Party, etc. So today, we're going to be coding Star Wars. As you can see, when I tap run, run, nothing happens because I haven't coded anything. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to be coding this. So first, we're going to be coding the Minecraft, I mean, the Star Wars character to be moving. So first, I'm going to bring this block here. And this block and then I will place it on the side so when up arrow move droid up and then you can choose how many pixels in this video I'm going to be choosing 20 pixels next we're going to get another one of this and another one of this block but this time we're going to change this to down and this to down as well and the pixels stays the same oh wait. yeah the pixels stay the same then we're going to repeat this then you change this to left change this to left and then 20 pi 20 pixels yeah, then we'll do, we're going to do this for the last time. And change this to right. This to right. And then 20 pixels. So now the droid will move wherever we want it to when we press the arrow. So when I press run, see, when I press down, this is what happens when I press up. This is what happens. So now we're going to choose what happens when when we press run. So we can set our character. There's lots of characters. So in this video, I'm going to be choosing this. See, the character has changed. Now I'm going to choose the background. So I need to move this bit to So I'm going to choose my background to be a spaceship and the background changes. So you're basic when you put a block you're basically telling a computer or a laptop or any device to do what you want it to do in its language because computers have a different language next I can choose how to set the map so there are going to be obstacles so if I choose circle it's going to look like but my favorite is the grid so he can run around everywhere 
So there are obstacles, lots of obstacles. Next. Next, I'm going to choose what I'm going to add. So now I'm going to add a stormtrooper. I'm going to add many of them. So if I add three, three come up here. And then when they go into me, they just disappear. So I'm going to put a lot of stormtroopers so it's a messy spaceship. So now I've added five stormtroopers. Now I'm going to choose what happens when I touch an obstacle course. These are the obstacles in my game which I have coded. So when I touch them, oh, I'm going to choose what happens. So I'm going to, so if I touch an obstacle, I'm going to end the game. End game as a loss. You lose, you see? As you can see, when I'm playing it, it makes a, a weird noise. So now I'm going to be changing the sound. Next, I'm going to choose what happens when I get a character. And that character is going to be a stormtrooper. So, uh, wait. I'm also going to add, I'm going to remove one point if I, if I touch an obstacle. That's quite hard, isn't it? And then when I get a stormtrooper, I'm going to add a point. So let's see. So I have one point, and then two, see, zero point, two points. If you have zero points and you touch an obstacle, you'll get, it will go into minuses, a negative number, sorry. So I think that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.